Welcome to Pirate News. I'm Liam Plate. And I'm Jasmine Kariadakins. Today we will cover Campus News, Seton Hall Sports, and the five-day weather forecast. Senior porches continue until this Friday, March 29th. Come to the Bowen Cellar between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. to get your portraits taken. Schedule your appointment at www.ryear.com, entering the school code 223. If you have any questions, contact Megan Borwick at megan.borwick at shu.edu. On April 2nd at 5 p.m. in the Jubilee Auditorium, author, professor, and doctor Christopher Emden will be giving a lecture. This lecture is a part of the new Ref Revolutionizing Education Speaker Series, which will be through the College of Education and Human Services. This lecture will discuss how to support urban youth and the adaptation of teaching through their life experiences. This event is free and welcome for anyone who wants to attend. However, students should RSVP before attendance. For more information, contact Edmund Adjapong at edmund.adjapong at shu.edu. Today, there will be a movie showing of a time for miracles from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. in the Chancellor's Suite in the University Center. The movie is the inspiring story of America's first native-born saint, Mother Seton. For more information, contact Karen Passaro at karen.passaro at shu.edu. On Friday, March 29th, Seton Hall will be welcoming Dr. Mary D. Hinton. This lecture will focus on topics such as diversity and inclusion. This lecture is the fourth part of the university's inclusion speaker series. This event is free and open to all. For more information, please contact the Department of Human Resources at humanres at shu.edu. Now we'll head over to Jason Marieski with your Seton Hall Sports Update. Jason? Thanks, Liam, and hello, Pirates fans. It's Jason Marieski with your Pirates Sports Update. The softball team won their first series of the Big East with a sweep of Villanova over the weekend. Seton Hall won a close game with a score of 7-6. Jaden Tate hit a walk-off three-run homer after Villanova rallied. Villanova scored four in the top of the seventh, but Seton Hall got two women on, and Tate smashed one to deep center. In the second game, the Pirates scored 10 runs in the first three innings, and cruised to an 11-9 victory to close the series. Janae Barricado had five RBIs and hit a go-ahead grand slam early to lead the Pirates. Regan Camp stopped a com comeback effort from Villanova, tossing two shutout innings to stop the Wildcats and get the save. Moving on to the men's side, where they crushed Monmouth 12-2. Christian Del Castillo hit his third home run of the season, leading Seton Hall to its third straight victory. Seton Hall capped a strong start with a five-run sixth inning. Shedler McAvoy hit an early home run, putting the Pirates up 2 to nothing, only two batters into the game, and Seton Hall pretty much halted any offense by the Hawks. That's all for your Seton Hall Sports Update. I'm Jason Marieski. Now back to Liam and Jasmine with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Jason. On Wednesday, April 10th, Seton Hall will be celebrating the 8th Annual Servant Leadership Day. This celebration is a part of Seton Hall University's pledge for students to be servant leaders in a global society. Joseph Prechenark will be giving a lecture from 4 to 5 p.m. in the Chancellor Suite about servant leadership and the engaged enterprise. For more information, please contact Francia Peterson at francia.peterson at shu.edu. All Seton Hall University students, faculty, staff, and administrators are welcome to this School of Theology series of three Lenten scriptural reflections until the week of April 5th. Each will take place from 5 to 5.45 in the Chapel of the Immaculate Conception. For more information about the series, contact Teresa Miller at teresa.miller at shu.edu. Now we'll head over to Aaron Kelly with your five-day forecast. Aaron? Thanks, Jasmine. Aaron Kelly here with your five-day weather forecast. Today we'll see partly cloudy skies of a high 47 and a low of 30. The skies will continue into Thursday with a high 57 and a low of 44. On Friday, we will see cloudy skies, but with a high of 66 and a low of 50. Heading into the weekend, the sun will return Saturday with a partly cloudy skies of a high of 77 and a low of 53. Finally, we'll have a rainy Sunday with a high of 60 and a low of 36. That's all for your five-day weather forecast. And once again, I'm Erin Kelly. Now back to Liam and Jasmine. More of the news you need to know. Thanks, Erin. On Wednesday, April 10th at 2 p.m. in the Faculty Lounge, the Office of International Programs, as well as CAPS, will be holding an event for Seton Hall students to be able to have an open dialogue about microaggressions, racism, discrimination, and how to cope. This event is open and free for all students. For more information, please contact Maria Buzas at oip at shu.edu. On Saturday, March 30th, the College of Nursing and School of Medical and Health Sciences will sponsor their first on-campus open house at the new state-of-the-art IHA's facility. Graduate program directors as well as students will be available to discuss your future goals. For more information, contact Michael Giorgio at michael.giorgio1 at shu.edu. This concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Jasmine Kariadakins. And I'm Liam Plate. Thanks for watching and have a great day.